for today we're playing Fortnite Battle Royale with the ROG Ally. And we'll start it off at 1080p at a mix of medium and high settings. And also we're playing at 30 watts and with 4 gigs of VRAM. And here we go with that. There we go. That should be do it so we can get. Alright, here we go. First game on. And in the sky, so far, we are in the 50s and the 60s. I've gone ahead and played two different games because the game does start quite heavily at the start. So I should be doing much better now. But it won't be perfect. Coming down here, in the high 30s and the low 40s. It's not great, but not too bad. Again, the main issues are the stutters, which hopefully goes away in a bit. Let's get this real quick. Man, the stutters are crazy right now. Um, when I was doing my second game, it was playing quite nicely at around 60 FPS on average. But now, it's actually doing quite worse. Use this up. Let's go inside here. Shield, perfect. Let's use this up. Somebody's nearby. They're outside. I might die here. I'm playing on controller and I'm not a controller player. This is so bad. Well, that was a fail, but let's try this again and see how we go. The stutters are doing a bit better. Still happening, unfortunately, but yeah, a bit better. And for the graphics, guys, it looks fantastic. It is a small screen after all, so it does look very sharp and very nice overall. If I get one kill, I'll be happy, to be honest. I don't know if that's going to be possible, though. There we go. Please. The aiming is so difficult for me. I don't know. Like on COD, I can do a decent job, but... Man, Fortnite is very inconsistent for me. Speeds up and slows down. Just quite randomly, it feels like. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and play at 30 watts for 1080p. And 900p and 720p, I'll go ahead and play at 15 watts as well as 30 watts. Should be a pretty good combo. And we'll see how we go there. And afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and play in performance mode. Probably at 1080p and at 30 watts. I think I'm dead here, to be honest. I don't know, there's no way I'm going to kill this guy. But he's fighting someone else, though. Let's see. Yo! Nice. Who was he fighting? This guy down here? That's a bot though. Somebody's shooting at me. Let's try this out and then I'm gonna back out and play at 900p at 15 watts. Here we go. Mmm. Okay, this is a bot and I'm failing at killing him. That is embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> it's so hard at telling you. It is way harder on controller versus keyboard and mouse. At least for me. Uh, the stutters will kill me. The stutters will kill me. All right, third game of the video. And now playing at 100p at 15 watts. So far in the high 30s and the low 40s. It's not great, obviously, but we are being held back by the GPU at this point. So playing at a lower preset should give us an extra couple of frames. Or even more than that. But the stutters, though, have definitely gotten far, far worse at 15 watts. The game is freezing. It is not doing great. What's happening here? Oh, he's skating. Okay. Like right here, it is just so, so choppy. It is insanely laggy. FPS falls down into the mid-20s for a bit, and then back up into the 30s and the 40s. All right, let's get a gun here quickly, please. Somebody's here. No way, this is not fair. Now for the graphics, this looks fine. It's very sharp, it looks as good as before. Uh, so it's definitely usable, but 15 watts is not it. It is again, very choppy and very stuttery. Okay. Look at the freezers. Look at the freezers. This is crazy. Hello? What's this guy doing? <laughs> What's happening here? It's my new friend. Please! 10 HP. And I even had the first shot on him. I mean, that's just embarrassing. Okay, let's back out. We had 30 watts and try again. And yeah, underground we're sitting in the high 60s and the low 70s. Why am I down here? I'm dead, aren't I? Leave me alone. Hello. I'm out of here. I'm being followed. This is not good. I might die here now. Someone's behind me. This is so bad. Can't hit me at all, I guess. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm still alive. I'm gonna keep running though. See you later, guys. And yeah, surprisingly, the game isn't stuttering as much. It feels far more playable. And FPS-wise, in the mid-60s, 
and occasionally down into the 50s as well. Let's go! If I kill this guy, I swear, man. This is a bot, right? This has to be a bot. <laughs> What's happening here? So dumb. That was a bot for sure. I don't believe it. Why is he running? Is he scared of me? I should be scared of him. I'm playing on controller. Cool, we'll take that kill. Thank you very much. And hey guys, at this point, it's very smooth. Can't feel any of the stutters as of now. And again, FPS-wise, above 60 for the most part. It can fall below 60, obviously, but it's far more consistent, it feels like. We are still at 40 watts, though. It's been quite a bit, and it's still holding 40 watts, which is surprising. Because normally, after like 5 minutes, it does drop down to 30. But regardless, the FPS is very similar anyway, so it's not a big deal. So yeah, let's back out, play at 720p, at 15 watts, and go from there. I'm going to skip 30 watts, because already, at 100p, we are being held back by the CPU most likely, as the GPU is sitting at 80% usage. So lowering the resolution isn't going to affect the FPS. 720p, 15 watts. Let's see how we go. So far, guys, we're doing pretty well. In the 40s and the 50s. And the game isn't freezing, which is nice. For the graphics, it looks quite nice. It's sharp enough, to be honest, that it does look quite good on the built-in screen. Somebody's nearby. I don't like this. He's upstairs. The FPS does fall quite a bit in the sky. Falls down to the 30s. But actually playing the game on the ground. On average, you're sitting in the high 40s and the 50s. So yeah, definitely playable. But performance mode might be the way to go for 15 watts. We'll see though. I think FPS-wise, it might do much better. But if you like the graphics as well as the performance, then obviously that won't be for you. Because in performance mode, it does look quite bad. Alright, let's go have a look. If I die instantly, I'm going to pass out. Hey, yo. <laughs> what was happening there? Alright, playing in performance mode and 100p. And yeah, the lowest setting. There we go. The stutters are back, unfortunately, but FPS-wise, guys, look at that. 130 to 140 FPS so far, and at 15 watts. That is insanely good. And for the graphics, it's also pretty good as well, to be honest. It's very sharp, it looks very crisp, but the FX obviously aren't going to be there. Like the lighting, the shadows, looks very basic in that aspect. And for the GPU, it's sitting in the 40s in terms of usage, so not great, but it's normal for this kind of mode. I won't spend too much time on this. I want to move on to 30 watts in a second, but hopefully we can get 200 FPS in that. Hello? Oh my god, the stutter! What's happening? The game froze for like a second. Oh. Let's go, baby. Stop it. Right now. This is a shield. Woo! Hey! Nope. Where, where, how, how, how? At right, 30 watts, and again in the performance mode. Let's see how we go. We had around 130 to 140 FPS beforehand at 15 watts, and now we're sitting in the 150s and the 160s. So around a 20 FPS increase. What's this? What's happening over here, guys? I'm dead, yeah, aren't I? Thank God I got that guy, man. I was so lucky. So yeah, if all you care about is FPS, then this is for you. You're getting great performance. Again, the game must start up, but should go away hopefully over time. And yeah, insane FPS, looks very sharp, and plays mostly well as well. So yeah, that's about it guys, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, in the next video. See you guys there.